sports. It's in the game. The young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh, I put it on the line like I ain't selfish now. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in, so you feel it. I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Since Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet it's best you soak it in. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions, yeah. daily manifesting on my premonitions. Yeah. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. Yeah. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's the receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun snap for gone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Value three, value three. <laughs> on second and ten, gone. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. I don't know why 
bad, but it's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can t it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet. The little rubber pellets shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. And a bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football, don't they? So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first and 10, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And he's into the clear. 30, 10, 5. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Let's go. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Zerline good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Prescott from the gun. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Prescott on first down. That one complete, Elliott. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports.
They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they'll start with great field. Position at the 41 yard line. First down and 10. Michael Tut, 180! And what's that? And what's the ball? Cornell. Got to check this guy. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, golf. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come-from-behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I felt nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A first down there on a pickup of 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On right, second and nine, Prescott. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Gurley. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Goff's throw here finds Woods. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now it's Gurley. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. On first and ten, gone. They'll get this one to Cop complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Escaping the pressure right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley, but now it's third and goal. 
appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, trying to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. If he was going to his left, a little bit tougher. Exactly. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. <laughs> because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal for and take it. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. You know, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. First down, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing. Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. With the score, Rams 10. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. The tackle by Robert Quinn. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Gone. There goes a deep ball in zone, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Brandon Cooks, 32 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Go. 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They're down 17-0, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. With that incompletion, a chance to mention the awards. Now with the season over, Lamar Jackson, as we speculated, he's the MVP, coach of the year. John Harbaugh, Lamar's coach. Michael Thomas, Stephon Gilmore, offensive and defensive players of the year, offensive and defensive rookies of the year. That went to Kyler Murray and Nick Bosa. And the comeback player of the year, Charles, Ryan Tannehill, no surprise there. Not to mention the number one award that the NFL gives out, the one that they give the most, the credence is the right word, the most attention to, and the one that they want trumpeted the most. That's the Walter Payton Man of the Year because that represents the totality of a player in the NFL, not just what they do on the field, but off the field as well. And that goes to Calais Campbell, the defensive tackle for the Jacksonville Jaguars. What a great award. Congratulations, Calais. On second and nine, Goff, he'll fire one end zone, and it's caught for a Rams touchdown by Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And thanks to the interception, the Rams offense cashes in for six. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their... And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had the double-digit lead at halftime, and they have continued to roll. They're hard to stop right now. I think what we're seeing is an example of the team that has it figured out in this ball game. And whatever the adjustments are the defense has made, <laughs> hasn't slowed them, hasn't phased them at all. They either anticipated them or they've been so far ahead that they just can't catch up. Now it's just a search to add to the lead. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jalen Smith, he brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now gone. Floating one incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. That'll be taken in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because... It and now here is another interception. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. 